Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we got the double meter and the big Goron sword, and now we are fully ready and prepared to finish this game up. So let's switch back to our master sword, and let's enter the final dungeon of this game. It's not really a dungeon. Uh, it's actually... Well, you'll see. Ah, uh, we're going to Hyrule Castle. Which isn't really Hyrule Castle anymore. We are now at if it'll show up. Is it gonna show up? Ganon's castle. So Ganon has taken over Hyrule Castle. And it is our job to make sure that we take it back. So there's so a few things that we want to do here. Um, first of all, I don't think we can grab this yet. Uh, this There's a giant stone here that we will eventually be able to grab, but not at this moment. Later on, though, we will be able to grab that. So, for now, let's go ahead and enter the temple. Before we do that, uh, let's get the Skulltula. I don't even know why I'm getting the Skulltula now. I already have 50 in the heart piece. Let's just get it just because. Alright. Let's go ahead and enter. Uh, as you notice, there's no way to actually get in from here. But. There will be a way. Link, can you hear me? It's Rauru the Sage. We six will gather our power to create a bridge to the castle where Ganondorf dwells. Castle's Keep, which is known as Ganon's Tower, is protected by six evil barriers. Bring down the six barriers and save Princess Zelda. And then the six sages will build us a bridge. And now we have access and are able to cross the gap and enter Ganon's Castle. So let's go ahead and enter. Um, before I do that, let me go ahead make sure I have these equipped. Uh, the light arrows are an absolute necessity in order to enter Ganon's castle. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and drink this red potion. There is somewhere inside of Ganon's castle that has an absolute horde of fairies, and those fairies can be very useful to anyone. So let's go ahead and start, shall we? Alright, so we're inside Ganon's castle. The first thing you'll see is the two, these two Beemos. Just want to ignore them for now. Alright, now, um, if you were listening before, uh, there are six barriers. We actually cannot go to face off against Ganon until we destroy these six barriers. So each of the barriers is, uh, similar to the sage, I guess. So this is the forest one. And there is a wolfos. Get rid of it. Okay. And right away we get a chest. What chest is this? Now inside this dungeon there is no map. No map or anything. All that's in here is the boss key. And there actually is a dungeon item in here. Um, from what I said earlier you might actually know what it is. But uh, I don't... Was I supposed to do that? I don't think I was. Okay. Well I'm gonna need fire arrows. Regardless. Or you know what? Actually I might not need them. Um, I can probably just do this and save some... There we go. Okay. And that opens this door up. Alright, now, here is an interesting puzzle. This is a silver rupee puzzle. Um, a lot of the puzzles in this dungeon, or this castle, are silver rupee. So want to pay attention to that. Um, so this is kind of like the puzzle from Shadow Temple. Uh, okay, which one do I want to get first? Uh, I actually want to get rid of this Beemos. Uh, I don't think that was right angle. Um, let me try again, like this. That got him. Hover boots are coming in handy in this section, by the way, so... If you need to make things a little easier for yourself, put on the hover boots until the fans start coming on. Then it gets difficult. Okay. 
So let me try this again. Ah, uh, I thought I could get that one. And step on the switch. What does this switch actually do? I'm not sure what that actually did in BMO suck. Okay. That, oh, that did that. Okay. Alright, so hover boots actually might not be all that helpful here. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, coming from down here will actually probably be a better idea to get this rupee. If I can angle it right. Yeah, never mind. It would have to be in a different location. Alright, we got that one. Alright, and the Beemos is still there. Let's see if that bomb can get him. Yeah, I'd re definitely reached. Okay. So that's another silver rupee. I'm going to have to think about this a little. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. As soon as I get over, I'm going to put on my iron boots. So that way I can't be pushed by the fan. There we go. Now the door's open, and I'm just going to stand here because the fan's actually about to start again. And then when it stops, I can go ahead and switch back to my Kokiri boots. And we can go ahead and jump across. Okay. Alright, oh, that was like a little extra left after from the fan. But okay, so when we enter these rooms, what we want to do is take our light arrows and we want to shoot this with our light arrows. These actually, nothing will happen to them unless we shoot them with our light arrows. And that destroys one of the barriers, and we see Saria. The forest barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, Link. Okay, so that's basically what happens with all the barriers, and that was just the forest one. So now we have to go ahead and get rid of the fire barrier, the light barrier, shadow barrier, water barrier, and the uh, spirit temple barrier. Okay, one down, five to go. So these barriers aren't really all that hard. They're usually very, very short. Uh, one of the barriers we actually can't even enter until we get an item, which I think is from the shadow barrier, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this one's pretty easy. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill three of these up with, oh, excuse me, ice or fire, blue fire. Just in case I need it, and I can empty it out if I don't need it. Okay. There are also some chests in here, but most of the chests in here will do nothing but freeze you. There might be some chests that don't freeze you, though. You know what? I've always wondered what would happen if you... Well, you know what? Let's try it. Let's pour some fire on this guy and see if anything happens. Nothing happens. I thought something would. All right. Well, that opened the door in there, which is what we needed to open, but we also need to extinguish that flame with what's in our bottle. Uh, this one, the other one had ice, so this one might not. Okay, this one had, an this one had a heart, which is useful. So now I'm going to go ahead and open this door with the flame that we gathered earlier. And then we can go ahead and head inside and see what's here. Okay, another block puzzle. Um, there's a time limit, but that does not mean I have to switch to my water tunic. Uh, the time limit stays there no matter what suit you're using. You simply just have to do this fast enough. So, that's the first thing I want to do. Okay, and then I guess push this block down. And then to the front, this way? Well, not jump. Um, yeah, push this block in this direction, and then go from the other side and push it in this direction. And there's actually a ferry there, but it ran away. Yeah, and this should be a perfect fit, I'm pretty sure. Okay, good. Oh, we actually did get that ferry, okay. And then we want to climb up here and extinguish this ice with a flame, too. And before I do that, I'm going to need my Megaton Hammer, though, because the switch that's actually there requires the Megaton Hammer.
Gonna get my Megaton Hammer out, and there we go. Alright, and now we can enter this room. Uh, okay. I hope the door's still open. It is. <laughs> Alright. Um, enter this room, and... Dispel the next barrier. So, let's get our light arrows out. Let's climb up here, and get rid of the next barrier. Uh... Alrighty. So that's the water barrier, and now we've got four more left. Um, I think I'm going to do the shadow one next, just for the sake of getting the item in the dungeon. So let's go and do that one next. The shadow one's one of the, not hardest, but one of, it's a little challenging, just a little difficult. Um, I can't completely remember if I need the lens of truth or not for it, so I'm just going to get it out anyway. And I don't need this fire anymore, so I'm just going to let go of this. And conveniently, the shadow barrier room is actually right there. Um, so what was I going to get? Uh, my lens of truth. Fire arrows. I'm going to need these. And the hook shot. Now there's actually a major shortcut to get through the uh, shadow room. But I'm not going to do that. But I will show you how to do it, just in case you want to do it. So... Instead of actually doing this the way you're supposed to, you can actually just latch onto this. And locking onto these things, or the like likes, actually allows you to. Um. What is it? Allows you to. I forget. What am I saying? It allows you to hook onto them. So. At least I'm pretty sure that's not what you're supposed to do. Um, let me try shooting this with a fire arrow. I'm pretty sure this makes a bridge. Yeah, it does. So, if you want to do it the fast way, just hook onto that with your hook shot, and then hook onto the light like. And then, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this. Okay, Link. Alright, we got rid of the light like. They usually go down in just one jump slash. And we get rupees. Not really that they're useful now, but we got them anyway. Okay. Now, for here, this is... Okay. So, our lens of truth comes in handy there. We can see that there's a little bridge or pathway that we can go through. And I think the uh, hover boots will help us here. Okay. So, I don't think shooting this torch actually does anything besides opens the door. Or no, it does do something. Uh, oh, I think it made way for the switch. Okay. And if we don't hurry up, this is most likely going to fall. And it did, just like I said. Alright, well, considering I already did that the right way, let's just go ahead and do this the fast way now. Hook onto this, so you can see both ways. And then onto the like like if I can get close enough. Hold on. Um right about there should do it. There we go. And as you can see, we got onto the like like. And we're on the other side. Didn't even have to press the uh or shoot the torch with the fire. Okay. Now let's go ahead and open up this chest and see what we get. But before I do that, I'm going to actually get the Megaton Hammer out, because we do need that as well. Alright, and let's see what we get. Um, we get the Golden Gauntlets. Uh, these actually let us lift up even more heavy things, um, because there actually is only about one more item in this game that's not, like, that's too heavy for Link to carry. And that will... Or these gloves will allow Link to do that. Okay. So now we're basically done with the shadow one. And I'm probably going to go to the fire one next. Or just whichever one is next to this one. Uh, this will be the third one, I think. Uh, let's switch back to our light arrows. Alright, and let's go. Let me hook on to this, because this is probably the easiest way to do it. Okay. And then open this up. Now when you first come in here, 
Or, no, that's the other one. Okay, never mind. So shoot that. Alright, so that's the fourth one down, and there's two left to go. I kind of like this concept of um, having to go back and do something that r relates to everything else you've done in the game to finish like the final part of the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, in like Mega Man games, usually you have to like fight every boss that you fought in the game at the end of the game, and that's just about in every Mega Man game because you know all their weaknesses and things at that point. But all right. So now we're in this room. Um, I'm probably going to want this for this one. Um, so things in this room move around very frequently. Uh, this actually sinks if you don't move fast enough. But alright, so here's an example of these gloves in use. So you see this block here. If you stand next to it and grab, Link actually lifts this giant pillar up. And as you see, there's actually a rupee inside. So let's get that rupee. Uh, we actually needed to throw that in order to get two rupees, because one rupee requires that as like a pedestal. Okay, Link, please. Um, Alright, let's try not to fill that this time. So this one first. Okay, let's get that one next. Uh, I didn't make the jump. Alright, hold on. Let me think about this for a second. So if we're going to get that one, we're going to want to get it fast. So jump there, and then jump again here. Okay, there we go. Got it that time. Okay. Now, I'm guessing we can go ahead and get this one. If I roll, then I'll jump. Okay. Alright, and now I'm going to get this one. Again, I don't. I wonder if it's going to play the animation again. I'm not completely sure. And it does. Alright, and then after this, we'll have two more after this, Ruby. Yeah, two more. Which should be easier to grab because of hook shots. Uh, okay. All right, we got rid of that, and then there's one more right here. We're gonna run and get this. That opens up the door. Okay, we're good now. And then from here. I'm pretty sure we just hook shot onto this. Because I'm positive. I'm not. I'm almost positive there's like no. Okay. Um. Can we reach it from here? Maybe we have to get over here to do it. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Alright, and then this is the fifth one, and there is one more left to go. And then we can actually go and fight Ganondorf. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, and then this is the last one, I think. Um, is it? I'm not sure. Uh, I may have miscounted. So there's this one and then one more, I think. That seems about right. Yeah, this one and one more. So let's get this one. And before we actually, after we finish all this, uh, there's one more thing that we're going to want to do. Um, we're gonna want to head outside of the castle actually and there's an upgrade that we can only get if we have the um, What is it called the golden gauntlets, so 
That's what we're gonna get after we finish all of these. Okay, now there's a chest in the center. Uh, I'm honest, or not honest, I'm pretty sure this chest contains a small key. Okay, most of these chests in here really aren't gonna be beneficial, so. And then we're gonna need another key here, which we can get by playing the Zelda's Lullaby. Okay, and then the chest should just drop right next to us. Alright, and now in the next room there's going to be a sort of another puzzle. It's like a maneuvering puzzle. Or no, this actually this that's another room. Uh, this one is kind of a maneuvering puzzle too, but it's this isn't what I'm talking about. Uh, so for this you just want to grab all the rupees in these rooms or these little crevices and then there's one last one right here door open that was very easy just avoid the boulders the boulders are very annoying and I got hit by one that was stupid really please okay and now we can walk in all right now in this one you actually can't see the um thing at first, the barrier thing, unless you walk through that invisible wall, and then shoot your light arrow. Alright, so that's another barrier, and now we've only got one left to go. Now this is the guy from the uh, Temple of Time, he doesn't actually have his own temple that we have to play through. Alright. All right, now, last one. After that's gone, there is this, this thing right here. Uh, Link, please. Okay, now this is the puzzle I was talking about. Uh, this puzzle is annoying. Um, you just wanna maneuver around all of these things whatever they're called, the spin, the little spike things. Um, there is Ruby right there, and then there's one more right here. All right, and there, that settles that, that's all open, and now we can head in here. And one second, just get rid of these slugs. Okay. Alright, now we want to hit the switch with a jump slash? Or no, that actually makes bomb choose appear, and then we can use bomb choose to hit whatever is at the end, or the switch at the end. Okay, we've got, we've got 38 bomb choose, that's quite a bit. Okay, so then those bomb choose will go in and hit that switch, and then we can go ahead and shoot the next uh, pillar, I think, or not. Um, for these, you can either shoot them with your light arrows, or you can... I think you can shoot them with your light arrows. Let me check. Or you can shoot them with your light arrows, or you can do this. And then you have to shine them on the suns, but I don't think that was the right one. Okay, so we got rid of that floor master. I almost... Uh, I don't want to shoot that. Okay, there we go. Didn't want to waste that. Uh, let's try this one next. That one was wrong too. All right. Well, while that wild master is coming down, uh, okay, never mind. That's kind of risky. Hey, um, I unintentionally got that one. Okay. We got rid of that one. More rupees. All right, and now we can go ahead and shoot that thing with our light arrows. Alright, let's do this. This is the last one. Okay. And now we are finally able to go ahead and face off against Ganon. Um, this can be an easy fight or a hard one, depending on how much you mess up in the very beginning of it. Um, but for the most part, it's not a very difficult fight. But, we've done it. All the barriers have been dispelled. 
and now we can head in and face off against Ganon. Um, but like I said before, I'm going to go ahead and get that upgrade really quick. And I may or may not stock up on fairies, but for now I don't think it's necessary that we stock up on fairies. Because our health is actually very, very good right now. Um, we've, had, we've got max hearts, and we should be good for all of that. Okay. Okay, so this is the entrance, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's back walk out of here real quick. Come on, Link. Let's go faster. Alright. Now, over back to where we were. When we first came into this area, this little pillar thing right here, so that we can get our, what is it called? Item upgrade. Okay, so just lift, lift that stone up again. Just like it's nothing. And now we are ready to see what's inside. So, do I have my ocarina equipped? I do. Okay, so let's go in. And like always with all the fairies, let's play Zelda's Lullaby. Okay. Alrighty, so we are very, very, very close to finishing this game now. All that's really left is to fight Ganondorf. Alright, so give us what we need, Miss Fairy, and we can go fight Ganondorf. Okay, she's the Fairy of Courage, and she will enhance our defensive power. So we definitely aren't going to need uh, to... Uh, bring fairies for the fight ahead then, because this basically doubles our defense. Alright, so now we have double defense, and we are ready to go ahead and fight Ganondorf. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off now. Um, Next episode will be the finale. I may break it into two parts. I may leave it in one. But I'm going to end it off here now. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys.